at Wallingford, in the shadow of the castle. Matilda's faction, commanded by her son Henry, proved it was still willing to fight King Stephen for the crown. But after 15 years of conflict, both sides had had enough. So, they made a deal. Matilda would surrender her claim to the throne on condition that when Stephen died, her eldest living son Henry would succeed him. A year later, he was crowned King Henry II and proceeded to grow the kingdom into the mighty Angevin Empire. But once again, what the king had spent his life building, his own children were destined to destroy. King Henry II had four surviving legitimate sons, and he planned to divide up his kingdom between them. But they fought bitterly for dominance. Against the odds, Henry's youngest son, John, became king. But King John was deeply unpopular. He lost huge swathes of the Angevin Empire gained by his father, then failed to reclaim them in expensive battles. Paid for by taxing his subjects. Eventually, England's barons could take it no more. They forced John to agree to a charter that restricted his power. The Magna Carta. But he went against his word. Furious, they rebelled, inviting Prince Louis of France to invade England. In 1216, Louis sailed to Dover and set his sights on taking this. Dover Castle. Held by forces loyal to King John, it was commanded by Hubert de Burr. He described the castle as the key to England. He was right. If it fell to the French, so would the kingdom. Asked to invade by the rebel barons, Prince Louis's French army launched an assault on the castle at Dover. Opening a crack in the outer defences, the invading forces charged the castle walls. The garrison at Dover would meet the French with clenched fists and an iron will. Dover could not fall. Commander Hubert de Burr rallied his men to hold back the French and defend the castle. Not 
While the castle's garrison thwarted the first French attack and prepared for a second, a new resistance force was building in the English countryside. A skilled bowman and fierce patriot, known as Willikin of the Weald, began to muster a resistance to the French invasion. Determined to keep the crown in King John's hands, Willikin would rally every available archer to the cause. With his bowmen assembled, Willikin planned to ambush the French siege engines on their way to the enemy camp.
Gieras Hestas. Sua Thay Hector. Willikin's resistance force continued to grow, adding more skilled men to its ranks. We have a stay, this be on that. Nickel Bill, you are ready to done some work here. Then, Arita, what needeth worker? Ickil have you that he's building a non. This shoe, Ich be Paliness, liters me way. No, Hester's, it's me, Hester. Fellow. Arita, what needeth? Yeah, yeah. 
To work. Yay, so are they happen. What will Tao? Freckers, Falworth, Egret Talkers. What they are the Esther? The French launched a renewed attack on the castle, but thanks to Willikin's ambush force, the enemy had been greatly weakened. With Willikin's archers weakening the siege from outside the castle, the garrison at Dover repelled the French attack. Willikin ordered his archers to resume their strikes on the French reinforcements. And Tedley Dandy never hurt us, no one near at all. It can do. Quad, sir, Shet. Kiera Hestus, step up to it, Arway men. Each win. Quad, sir, Shet. Yeah. No, that does not. Spare men, yard. 
Yare to don some work. Don Shapende new. Boost hit with left. There is. Glidande ne'er hurt us, no one better down. There's no one near her down. Intend on devotas. Better. It can do. do. Had in their heads, there's no. Sewers they had. Frank is harken. No hestas. Hestas are not more than fully in their Hestas. Alrita. Yahweh Shesua they had. Claude, this is a mickel matter. Then, yes, sir. Is she? Boa is fully in their Hestas. Hestas poor and end day mid May. Yet they may have bought. Will be reparailed and on. Yare to don some work. If I'm on Minwaya, that building will be reparailed and on.
Coordinator failed dot. Reaper railings are an ongoing. Ekil and Gina, the Ripper railings know. Off to the Feldes. What needeth be undone? If he'll do that new. What needeth be undone? Yare to done some worker. Willikens' archers had decimated the French reinforcements. But undeterred, the French mustered what troops they could and launched another attack on the castle. The hardy English garrison held fast, refusing to let the castle fall to the French invaders. Willikin rallied his archers to continue strikes on the weakening French. What will See thing here and eight in Hester. Hall's tin down. He shall have it that he fell them along. See thing to work, eh? It he'll build a that for day. Intended, Black Luther, come upon. Win left, better. Valita, what needeth worker? Arita, what needeth work? Yeah, yeah. Tid to end it. Yeah, for me, I'll be. Tid win left, better. New that, come upon. Yeah, ready to done some work here. On the votas. See the hesters. Who stayed lidan then they hurt us, no, never down. Every charm and ten death. Freck is harken. Harken a dollar. Block and they will do, swole hat. Say Tolkas. Tin twin left. Fe what need it be undone? Hester, at the end, they Hester's new. Freck is new, that. Come upon. It can be. It can be. For a day. So ahead. Every charm and ten death. Build end day that Rita new. And ten. I'll sweep them, yes. Freck is hearkened. New Hestus. And sweet the yes, sir. So I have Oh, you're lying. 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 You're
Will be reparailed or not. Yes, it can do. Awe men gon gendes be frekes tit dwindler. Bereth, boa is ya preseth yao arwe man. It can do. Foliente hestes. Fuse tolkes. Hestes. Hestes cometh arwe men. Astiria, brave they are, women. And sweet, yes. Vin Hester. Yarwe shirt and periende Hester's new. Quaros have any bow. Ferende. Marita, what needed work, eh? You go have a that he built in an on. What needeth be on done? Worker, 
kill build a that for they. It kill build a that for they. See they to work. Uh. They did that, right? Yeah, right, you're right to done some work. The combined grit of the English garrison and Willikin's surprise attacks ensured that Dover hadn't fallen yet. Now the English prepared to repel the final French assault. The tenacity of Hubert de Burr's loyal soldiers forced Prince Louis and the rebel barons to abandon their siege at Dover. And thanks to the efforts of Willikin's fearless archers, England remained in King John's hands.